A question has arisen in relation to the period of this emer limited emergency. Um, all of you would have heard the Prime Minister say that this emergency would last for a period of 21 days. Um, you would have heard the regulations being read and you would have heard uh, a period of seven days being noted in the regulation. Now that is um, quite consistent with the intention of government. Let me explain what this means. As the Prime Minister has indicated, the proclamation of emergency which was issued by the, declared by the Governor General is a proclamation that reads this way. Um, it says, exercising powers under the Emergency Powers Act, and of course that would have to be exercised consistent with the Constitution of Grenada. Now I, now therefore I, Cecile La Grenade, Dame Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael and St. George, Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, Governor General, in and over Grenada, acting in accordance with the cabinet, hereby declare a state of emergency exists in the state of Grenada, and that the provisions contained in the Emergency Powers Act shall have continuing application. You would note that nothing there says an end period. It says when the declaration was made, and it says it shall be the Emergency Powers Act shall have application. Now, let me explain that when Parliament is not sitting, every declaration of emergency is in, in fact governed by the Constitution of Grenada. And the Section 17 of the Constitution literally says that if, a, if Parliament is, once you are trying to affect, or rather once you affect the fundamental rights provision and you declare an emergency, that is the Governor General, that once Parliament is sitting, that declaration will last for seven days. Yes? Let, let me, let me, in fact, let me, let me read that for you. Every declaration of emergency shall lapse in the case of a declaration made when Parliament is sitting at the expiration of seven days beginning with the date of publication. So the fact that there is no end date, once Parliament would have been sitting, the Constitution says that the declaration will lapse in seven days. In any other case, the Constitution says, at the expiration of 21 days beginning with the date of publication of the declaration unless it has in the meantime been approved by a resolution of Parliament. What does that mean? It means that if you examine this present circumstances, Parliament is not presently sitting, it is adjourned. In fact, if you look at the definition section of the Constitution, Parliament is presently not sitting because it is adjourned. So here we have a declaration made without an end date by the Governor General, and therefore the provisions of the Constitution kick in. And so when the provisions of the Constitution kick in, it means that you must consider whether Parliament is for sitting or not. Parliament is not now sitting, even though Parliament is alive and well, but not now sitting. And so it is adjourned, and therefore the, de the proclamation of emergency will last for a period of 21 days. Now, why is the regulation saying seven days? You would note that we are in a period of emergency, and this, these regulations affect many aspects of life in Grenada. We have imposed many restrictions on movement. We have asked that most persons stay at home to prevent the spread of the virus. These are very challenging times. And because of the many aspects of life that we have affected by these regulations, Already my phone is ringing off the hook. I'm sure all media practitioners, all lawyers, are, their phones are ringing off the hook. We will have to be tweaking some of this as the days go by. I have already spoken to the Bar Association and I have invited their assistance in this process that we need to work together, all of us, all of Grenada, to get us past this system, this present moment. We need to work together to point out where certain flexibility could be introduced, certain changes may have to be made. And we expect 
that within a matter of days we will have to revisit these regulations. Yes, I have noted that some of the other Caribbean countries have passed emergency regulations and they have had to revisit it in a matter of days. Yes, so we have recognized this and this is why we have given ourselves in a sense a timetable that these regulations as they exist currently will expire in seven days time but the declaration of of emergency the proclamation will continue to run for a period of 21 days as the prime minister has indicated i hope that explains for the public why you see seven days in the regulations because we will be revisiting the regulations we will be listening to the comments we will be listening to the concerns the whole focus here is to ensure that we minimize the spread of the virus, that we minimize the risk of people coming into contact with each other. That is the crucial underlying aspect of these regulations. And whilst we are affecting so many aspects of life, we will so, we, we, there will be matters raised that will point us to various areas that we can address, that whilst we take care of the underlying concern of minimizing contact, there may be few, a few matters that we can change along the way. So yes, I hope that clarifies it. The proclamation of emergency will last for a period of 21 days, as the Prime Minister has indicated, and the Governor General has proclaimed. The regulations will last for a period of seven days, and which time they will be renewed or amended, and we will proceed to that, the end of the emergency, I hope, in good course. Um, there was one other aspect that was raised as a question to me. I do expect to be addressing more of this as the days go by and to explain and give clarity along with the media practitioners and the relevant stakeholders. One of the other matters I will address immediately is whether media practitioners are considered essential. And I've just pointed to the regulation that media practitioners are very crucial at this point in time and they have been recognized by these regulations as being essential workers and that, the, that, that sector will be given those um, privileges and we expect that they will ensure that they observe the social distancing protocol. This is a crucial time for us. We're in a state of emergency, limited as it is, and we ask that everybody try to be careful where you seek your information from. Please tune into the government um, GIS and the Ministry of Health for your information and your update as the Prime Minister has cautioned. We need to ensure that we listen to the right sources and if you have questions I'm sure you can make contact with the relevant departments and we'll be providing answers. Those of you, I wish to end on this note, those of you who feel that um, you can make suggestions to us in relation to your businesses that are not covered by the present regulation to, that you may want your businesses to be open, please make contact with the ministries, um, Ministry of Health, um, make contact with my office and we will look at these matters and we will examine them and, uh, and, and determine whether uh, we will continue to achieve the underlying objective which is to minimize contact and avoid a, a greater disaster. I thank you all. Please stay healthy and please observe the protocols and follow the regulations. Thank you.